kids. And in Bermuda, we brought over the, the a team that was the, the Islanders from the United States to play Saracens, which is the best rugby club in the world. So you've got these great athletes. When the game is over, you know, everybody was out drinking beer, watching the guys play rugby. We look out there and the, the Islanders, as the team name was, is out there picking up the trash from the stands. Mm. And I told my kids, I said, look at that. That's some of the best rugby players in the world. And we've got maintenance to pick all this up, but they wouldn't leave until the field was clean. It, yeah. it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Of course, we all went down there and helped them with it, but it's just, it's such a respectful, wonderful culture. Well, you know, it's the culture of, you know, what we call kumama. Kumama means wherever you go and anywhere. They don't care what, what type of celebrity status or even if you're not a celebrity. You know, when we come to different places, our, we learn to clean up the mess that, that we made or maybe the mess that we didn't make. It's just in us all the time because it's that work ethic that's instilled to us as a young kid, a young Polynesian kid. You know, the worst thing that they did back home now, uh, guys, is they open up freaking fast food restaurants. Uh -huh. So when they open fast food restaurants, I, all of a sudden the Polynesians are like, oh, it's just easy to go through, drive a car through and just order your food now versus going to prep it up, you know, in the mountains and get all that, you know, done. So, you know, now, you know, the Polynesian kids here in the States, when they go to the Polynesian kids back home in the island, it, they're having like to be able to, you know, kind of find each other because American uh, Samoans, Polynesian kids, they're easy to the easy life. Meaning I could just drive through the drive through get me some food. Here, it's work. Like you got to work to be able, you want to eat, you ask, you want seafood, you go swimming, go, go fishing in the ocean. You want some good meat, you go up there, go hunting. But here in the United States, you know, when they come from, from the States, it's like, it's like that. They're so used to, you know, not understanding, knowing what their culture is. And that's why I always preach a lot to the kids here in the States. Learn to take time to go home to the, state, to the islands of Samoa, where you're from, and go learn to really understand, you know, what your culture is, how they live on a daily basis. Because you really can't learn here what your culture here is in the United States. It's just a whole new different vibe.